When talking about the role of the defensive midfield in football, the first thing that comes to mind is the image of the defensive midfielder, who protects the entry to the penalty area and whose main role is to disrupt the opposing team's attacks. But a defensive midfield doesn't necessarily have to be limited to the role of a defender. There's a role, often attributed to midfielders, that demands qualities like refined technique, vision, decision-making, long-range passes, short passes, and other abilities. This role has become known worldwide as the regista. Regista is an Italian term that roughly translates to director. And this term captures the essence of the player assigned to this role, the one responsible for orchestrating the team during the game. How does the regista accomplish this? That's what we'll discuss today because now you're about to learn about the tactical role of the regista. But first, what is a regista? Do you remember Pirlo? The Italian maestro who played for major clubs in his country and seemed to glide across the field with his elegant style. If you ask someone to describe his playing style, you'll hear about his precise passes, spectacular vision of the game, ability to dictate the tempo of the match, and other things that essentially describe a classic number 10 player. Interestingly, Pirlo used to play deeper, in the lower midfield positions. It's as if he was a number 6. The classic AC Milan team that won the Champions League in 2007, coached by Ancelotti, playing a 4-3-2-1 formation, had their most technical midfielder in the first midfield position, Pirlo. Speaking of Italian football, the history of this role seems to trace back to the 1930s Italian national team. Wanting to have an expert in delivering long passes, the Italian coach Vittorio Pozzo wanted one of his defenders to take on this role. Instead of using a system with three defenders, Pozzo switched to a 2-3-5 formation, moving his central defender to the midfield line and assigning them the role of the team's organizer. This was the origin of the regista role. When it comes to regista, Pirlo is the first name that comes to mind. But we can mention other players who have played this role at certain points in their careers, such as Xabi Alonso, Tony Kroos, Busquets, Jorginho, among others. If you watch videos of these players' skills, one of the things you'll see most often is precisely guided long passes to the receiving player's foot. This is not a coincidence. If you want a player with exceptional passing ability to have ample opportunities to showcase their technique, you want them to have the freedom to execute these long passes. The position the Regista plays in is strategic because it's a zone with much less pressure than more advanced areas, allowing the Regista the freedom to utilize their game intelligence and more space for their precise passes. For example, consider a team defending in a 4-4-2 formation. The area of highest pressure is here, right? Between the lines of 4. This would be the area of the number 10. But the Regista plays ahead of the midfield line, in a less pressured area, although at times, they might advance, of course. And there, they are free to find the best position to create advantages according to the opponent's defensive structure. Imagine the scenario. Our team plays in a 4-3-3, with the first midfield player being a regista. One of our principles in building up from the back is to create numerical superiority over the opposing team's first line of pressure. Meaning, if the opponent marks with one player up front, our two center backs are enough. If two players press, we need three. And if three players form the first line, we keep four. The player in our team responsible for reading the opponent's setup and coordinating the buildup is precisely the regista. Going back to our 4-3-3. Imagine that the opposing team presses in a 4-1-3-2 formation. Naturally, it's two center backs against two forwards. So, to create numerical superiority, the Regista could drop between the center backs to become a third player. It's unlikely the direct marker would follow them, and if they did, they'd leave a gap in the middle that could be exploited. If, at some point, the opponent changed their structure to have only one player up front, our Regista could start playing behind their first line. But the point is, the Regista is free to read the situation and even manipulate the game to put themselves in an advantageous position, like receiving an uncovered ball, where they have the freedom to choose the best course of action. Here's another crucial aspect for a regista, decision-making and technical execution. Receiving the ball facing the game, they might, for instance, opt for a long pass behind the opposing defensive line, 
a ground pass into the space between lines, across to the opposite side, or simply a sideways pass. Here comes another significant point, this time from a collective perspective. Having a talented regista won't be effective if the forward players can't make movements to break through the opposing defensive lines or exploit spaces in the opponent's defense. If the team lacks cohesive offensive movements from the middle to the front, the regista will likely be underutilized and might be forced to play safe passes sideways. It's like having Stephen Curry right by the basket, but the hoop isn't there for him to shoot at. But now that we've covered the offensive aspect of the Regista's role, it's time to discuss the Regista and their defensive role. The major distinction of a Regista's role is from an offensive perspective, but since they play in a deeper position, it's clear they also have a defensive role to fulfill. Registas are generally players with a more technical profile and might not stand out for their physical dueling skills, although that doesn't mean they can't do it. However, as we mentioned before, it's evident they need to contribute defensively. The point is, Registas are players who defend much more through positioning, occupying space, focusing on cutting passing lanes for possible interceptions rather than engaging in physical duels. But, once again, it depends on the player's profile. There's nothing stopping a Regista from also excelling in physical duels. What we're doing here is more of a generalization of the profile of players who typically play this role. Therefore, Considering the team's defensive system, it's important to have another midfielder with a strong marking characteristic to accompany the Regista. Going back to the example of the 2007 AC Milan team coached by Ancelotti, Pirlo, who was the team's Regista, had Gattuso by his side to be the player strong in duels. To sum it up, the role of a Regista in football goes far beyond simply being a defensive midfielder. The Regista is the director of the team. But, of course, they need teammates who can enhance their potential, both in defensive and offensive moments. Here on this channel, you have access to numerous videos discussing football content from a tactical standpoint. And, probably, you're seeing some of our videos on the screen. Consider continuing to watch and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this type of content. Well, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed it. Take care, and see you next time.